All right, so let's talk a little bit about the ROM FX unit. Um, basically what we have here first is we have a mic I didn't talk about earlier. Um, it's a mic I basically got from Radio Shack, uh, listed in my post. It travels through, um, which is connected to a, um, spliced into a 3.5 millimeter audio cable, dual channel. Uh, it's wrapped around a, um, a nickel plated uh, wire I got from one of the hobby shops and then basically strapped around the uh, ear bolts. So it gives me a nice rigid mic system that doesn't go anywhere, doesn't flex unless I really have to bend it to get it into place. So when I put my helmet on, that thing sits right against my mouth, right, 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 just how I like it. Um, from the ROM FX unit, it comes out and then goes to a Y cable that's spliced to the back of the Hobie mics, which are basically right there. And then it travels behind the echo bracket. That's it for the ROM FX. Um, there's a lot of information on the ROM FX, but I'll have to, their website. Look, she can go straight to ROMFX.com and look at all the information on the ROM FX. Um, battery cable, I mean, a power supply that originally went to three AAAs has basically been spliced and accommodated the, uh, the connectors to take my, uh, my anchor product, anchor battery. It's 12 volt, and of course, my anchor product is battery supply uh, charger is also 12 volt. Uh, hearing aid, uh, typical Radio Shack hearing aid, or you can get them off Amazon $14.99. You basically have to assemble it. So unless uh, there's a couple uh, or one major seller on White Armor that you can purchase this from, and they're already built. Um, for those that like to do your own tinkering, you can buy them yourself, assemble them, and basically at the very end, uh, on the board there used to be uh, where the manufacturer originally tells you to put their microphones. I've run um, two leads that come down, go through connectors, and go into mics that actually sit behind the ears. So I have mics that actually sit literally just inside this cap. And then if you can see, there's three tiny little holes right there. So unless you're really looking at them, you can't even tell they're there. But the audio, uh, external audio, goes right through the holes into the mic. And uh, I use at this section here, let the camera focus a little bit, um, is the output. And I wear earbuds. Earbuds are great for me because they cancel out helmet noise and then allow uh, the sound I want to hear to be filtered. Works really well. Um, to elaborate on this just a little bit, basically all it is is within my 8-pin mini DIN connector I have a uh, MP3 player that is spliced into the system. Let me show you that real quick. So it's a little MP3 player that basically sits down on my waist. It's got a little clip. You see, it sits down on my waist, plugs into the 8-pin mini DIN over there on the anchor product. That area there. Comes up through the 8-pin uh, mini DIN, travels out goes through the amplifier from there it travels over to a speaker so it's actually a third speaker and it's sitting right here and it basically uh, pipes out TK chatter out of the front of my front of my mask and no it doesn't distort with anything else it seems to work really well so uh, next video I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hook up the harness and we'll operate some of the functions